Got a one, a two, three, and a hey now. Metal Mike coming at you. I'm downtown St. Paul. And where am I? I'm at an antique shop. It's Monday morning. It's about 10, 10.30 a.m. And I've added this uh, shop to uh, my typical hunt now each week. It's the old, uh, it's Wally Westcott. It's on the corner of West 7th and Chestnut in downtown St. Paul. Now, if you've never been there, he's been here for 38 years. I came here as a young boy. He was friends with my stepfather, uh, Marty. So, shit, it's just an institution, literally, because it's been here so long. And they got some really cool shit that's priced accordingly. And I want to show you what I picked up today. So we're going to open the door of the transit as I go out of shot. Right now you're just facing east towards the river. I got this great book called The Race. Uh, I paid 23 bucks for it. As you can see, it's just old school racing. And it's kind of an old uh, flip book. But just a huge history for race car fanatics. Maybe this could be a good piece on eBay. There's some staining and such, but no big deal. Let me show you the piece that I stepped up to the plate for and paid $86.35. Here's what it is. It's called an in and out box. I've never seen one like it. Uh, the graphics on it are amazing. Cast iron, weighs a ton. There's a switch, there's a bell in the back. Uh, we don't know what it's from off of a gas meter. There's the in, there's the out. So like I said, being I've never seen one before, I don't know why those are covered up right there, but those little pieces of leather are coming in there. You got a rain and a five set. I just love it. There's a little bit more history on the bottom. It looks like 1889, 1890 is the last patent date on it. So you're looking over 126 years old. Interesting piece. Going to do some research on it. Maybe one of you guys can tell me what the hell it's from. This almost looks like it was hand done over a different type of meter. You know, these blocks even here look to be made of wood. So we're going to find out, was that worth stepping up to the plate and paying 86 bucks for? I think it was. Now, there's the view. There's the river right there. And like I said, we're on the corner of 7th Street and Chestnut, downtown St. Paul. One of the oldest antique stores, really uh, one of the last. There's very few left here in Minnesota. And of course, uh, I'm not going to be able to get a good camera view for you guys. So you're going to get the ceiling of my car while I put my seatbelt on. So now all I'm going to do, really, is I'm going to take a little cruise down West 7th. I'm going to see if there's any more antique stores. To be honest with you, I'm not even. I'm gonna go get some tacos and I'm out of here. I'm gonna go get some beautiful tacos. Gotta turn that off real quick. We got some Megadeth there. So, I wanna start going to this shop and I'm going to start going to this shop at least twice a week so that I can do some picking because this is still, I'm gonna support them. I'm gonna spend a little money. They give me a discount because, uh, well, geez, because they knew my dad, stepfather, Gilbert. That's about the only reason. And uh, I'm just, I feel down in this area, I just love supporting these old stores. And that's what we have in that situation right there, is an old store, Westcott Station, W-E-S-C-O-T-T, -T, Wally and Kurt, father and son. Been there forever, 38 years. Holy shit, I can't believe it's been that long. I went, like I said, I went in there and like the, my first times going into that shop, it was like 1978. John's Antiques, huh? Antique lamps. We're not interested, not interested. I'm just gonna see if there's any other little antique shops that have opened up down here. I, I honestly don't believe there are, but we're gonna go ahead and give a shot down here. So I'm on West 7th in downtown St. Paul. Really a great old strip. Uh, back in the day, there were several antique shops along this uh, strip. No more. This is where, if you go back into my videos, that was the old movie theater that I didn't give the address of. It was on West 7th. 
and that's actually where we're headed right now. I guess I'm headed, uh, geez, I want to say I'm headed south and west 7th. So I guess there's not much more to say, is there, guys? Showed you my in and out box, showed you my racing book. Now, let's go see if we can find something else. Hit up!